And Katrina Radke joins us now. She is an Olympic swimmer from the 1988 Games in South Korea. Thank you for joining us. Also a big bid supporter. Tell me what do you think our chances are today? Well, I am quietly optimistic. I am uh, obviously hoping that we'll be the final two and believe that we really can be. And uh, obviously we don't know until the USOC makes their final vote in Chicago today. Tell me, one of the concerns we hear all around town is the transportation concerns here in the Bay Area. Can you answer that? Why do you think that we can still pull this off with some of our transportation issues and traffic issues? Absolutely. That's a great question. The Metro Metropolitan Transportation Commission has been working really closely with us, and they have it down to the minute on how many people can get on each public transportation system. And wonderful thing about all the venues that we have in place is that they're within walking distance of some public transportation for people to use. And one thing we've looked at is the Sydney games and we um, to model after and actually our transportation we're making sure is a little bit better than that even so I think we're in very good shape of course even if we advance to the final two and then we have to hope to advance to the final one to represent the US there's still a whole slew of international competitors it's still a long way to go isn't it yes absolutely that's correct November 3 the US city is chosen and if we San Francisco Bay Area win we have till 2005 to um, convince the IOC the International Olympic Committee and we will be competing against cities such as Rome Istanbul potentially Moscow Cape Town South Africa and many other great cities so we'll be doing our best to make sure if we do get to the final US bid um, that we show off San Francisco Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us. And there are many Olympians, I should add, in addition to Katrina here in the Bay Area who are helping with this bid, Michael Johnson, the runner, and more than any other city, there is a very strong former Olympian support here for this bid. Live in Palo Alto, Lisa Bernard, NBC3 News. And the big announcement should come around 2 o'clock this afternoon.